Yeah, guys, just making another video. I don't think the other, my live video, I think the sound, something went wrong with the sound. Maybe I was, <coughs> excuse me, I was covering the, um, maybe I was covering the microphone. I'm not sure what went wrong, but just want to make this video about Neo stop while the market's still open. I was doing some research, reading some articles, doing some other research. I was also listening to some other videos on YouTube about Neo stock. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, you can't trust them, guys. You cannot trust them. They're bashing Neo. They're supposed to be bullish on Neo. Well, one in particular, Mr. Prickly Pear, he sounds like he... At one point, he was laughing about Neo's stock falling, and that's when it talked. That said everything to me. It said that he's a uh, yeah, he's a Neo basher. He's all about the views from YouTube. He's got he's, he doesn't hold any stock in Neo. Let's face it, it's all about the views, guys. Right? So no one would laugh about Neo's stock going down, not unless you. It was 100% certain it was going to go up and he was buying. He was buying, you know, as it was falling. And you and you could prove you was buying. You could show your trades to people. But he, don't sh he doesn't show his trades. So obviously he's, he's, a, he's a fake. He's a, what, what can I say? He's a, what do you call it? He's basically, he's, the, he's a deceiver. He's a deceiver, prickly pear deceiver. You can't trust him. And it's people like him. He's got all those um, uh, subscribers and he gets like, you know, tons of views. It's people like him that are driving the price down of Neo. He's causing the fear. He's causing the unnecessary fear. Right, and then there was this other channel I looked at. I forget the name, but he's like bashing Neo. Every video about Neo, he's bashing Neo. And the thing is, when Neo was got, I checked back on the history on his videos. Right, and the interesting thing is, when Neo was Neo, you know, the stock price of Neo was going up seven dollars, seven seventy. There wasn't one video from him about Neo. Look, Neo's doing great. The price is going up, etc., etc. There was absolutely nothing, nothing. He kept quiet, right? He kept quiet when, when, as I said, when the price was going up, Neo stock. When it was going up, yeah. When it went up from three seventy, three seventy five to seven seventy. Right, there was not one video from him. Right, so, and then there's this other channel, this is other YouTube channel, this other guy, um, banging on about he's lost money. I don't know if it's Neo stock or whatever. He's saying that he bought Neo stock, I think, at a higher price in 2021. And he's losing his house or he lost his house. I don't know if it's true or what. He's looking for sympathy or donations. I've got, I got no clue. But what alarms me is that, you know, people are not genuine. They're not genuine, right? They're not genuine. They can't. It's that, the guy was, when the stock price was rising and there wasn't one video from him, He's supposed to be, you know, he's supposed to know about stocks, you know, price action and, and technical analysis, etc. But yet there was not one video from him when Neo was rising. And now that it's falling, oh, yeah, yeah, he's saying that Neo's no good, Neo's this, Neo's that, etc., etc. So these people are not genuine. They're only reaction reactionists, you know, they only react when something happens and if it doesn't happen as they want it to happen like when neo stock price was rising 
he wasn't happy with that because it didn't fit into his narrative of bashing Neo. So obviously he couldn't make a video of it. But you see, like, Neo's up, I make a video. I was actually the one that said Neo was going to rise, as you know, called it right. When Neo was 370 or thereabouts, I said it was going to rise. And I make videos when Neo, when the stock price goes down. It, it's the same. I, 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 you know, I, I'm, I'm genuine. Like, as you know, but these people, these other channels, they're not genuine. They're not genuine and um, you can't trust them. You can't trust them. And as I said, the more subscribers they've got, when they bash stock, like, you know, Neo stock, especially most of their videos about Neo, you see, if you read comments on their channels, it causes people to sell because people... You know, they get scared, they get worried, etc. And Neo recently, you know, it's had some negative news, different aspects. You know, Chinese, basically companies are exposed to tariffs, possibly. And um, a lot of money went into Tesla and other stocks like, you know, because of the election results. So that drives attention away from Neo, stocks like Neo, and um, people get worried and then they hear, you know, they listen to videos from Mr. Prickly Pear, that set causes them to sell and you don't know the ones that are not leaving comments, they might read those comments they read one negative comment, it could be 10, 20, 30, 100 people selling because of that one negative comment. And if it's like 10, 10, you know, negative or 20 negative comments on, on Prickly Pear's video, then, you, you know, you times that 20 by another 10, 20 people reading those comments and then times that by whatever amount of shares they've got that they're selling if they do end up selling, which it looks like a lot of people have sold or still are selling, then that's what causes the price to fall. The Neo stock price to fall, guys. Right? So anyway, that's what I just want to say. That's what I wanted to say, you know, what I've just said about the situation. And then talking about numbers, I don't know, like, uh, as I said, I don't know if the sound was all right in my live video, but I was saying that the Neo overall, year on year, the sales are increasing, right? And then they've got the Firef Firefly model coming out, right? They're going to show it, you know, December. Right, they get, right, so in December, they're going to show it. That's going to increase sales um, in 2025, right? A lot, because it's a cheaper vehicle price-wise. And it's a big market for cheaper vehicles, cheaper EV vehicles, right? So that's going to increase sales. That's going to increase revenues in 2025. But notwithstanding, year-on-year -year sales of NEO are increasing, and Neo are doing better than XPEN, right? Um, year on year, um, percentage wise, percentage wise, their sales are increasing. Also, um, when we talk about um, insurance registrations, that is deceiving because. You've got to think about, you know, Neo vehicles that were sold as to lease companies and rental companies. Then they're not going to insure those vehicles individually. They have, uh, what do you call it, bulk insurance, you know, trade insurance. So rental vehicles, they don't necessarily get insured individually. So you could have 
one company, one insurance, um, one rental company buying 500, say, vehicles of Neo, Neo vehicles, sitting in a compound, you know, being rented out, they're not individually insured per se, if you see my point. They go on a, what do you call it, um, bulk, what's the word, policy, insurance policy. And that's the same with lease companies, you know, they buy bulk and um, when they, then they, 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 they get insured later, you know, they get individually insured at a later date. They don't instantly get insured. So that's why the registration, in my view, is not financial advice. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice, but that's why I think that the registrations are not as high. But just go back to the sales, go back to the sales year on year. I think it's something like 35%, 35% increase right year on year so neo sales are actually increasing year on year so you can't just look at some the ups and downs of one month here one month there all of the chinese ev companies they're going to have their ups and downs right even the top performing ones it's all kind of like you know um <clears throat> You've got to look at the larger, bigger picture, you know, for the average. And what matters is year-on-year -year sales at the end of the day. So as I say, you've got the Firefly coming out. The revenue figures are going to come out 20th of November, right? I expect them to be up, maybe not as up as people think, but still slow progression, steady progression. You can't always rushy-rushy. Because, you know, the models are expanding. They, 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 you know, they're, um, you know, they're different models. They're expanding all the time. So obviously, like, it takes time to generate sales in each of the models. And as I say, the Firefly, it's not even out yet proper. So... It's going to come out in December, 20th of December, towards the end of the year. And it's coming towards the end of the year now, right? It's the 12th of November, 2024, right? And you got to think that after this election, these, a lot of stocks like Tesla, etc., are pumped up. And people's attention goes away from stocks like Neo, etc., especially when the price of Neo is falling. And partly that's why the price of Neo is falling because attention has gone to different sort of companies, right? So it's a buying opportunity in my opinion, just my opinion, not financial advice. I bought some more, I'll show you in the next video. I bought some more Neo, currently holding 2,495 Neo two accounts, two trading platforms. And that I've bought significantly, right? So that's up from about a thousand. I had about a thousand. So I've bought basically about 14, 1500, just under 1500, something like that. So look, I wouldn't be buying if I wasn't confident in holding long term. I didn't think Neo's stock price would go up long term. 2025 i wouldn't have bought so what i'm trying to say is like people obviously that like, is a lot of um newbie traders supposed to be investors but when they see a price fall against them they panic and sell so there's a lot of newbies like that they fear they sell panic panic selling and that's what the stock market's all about guys that's why ultimately a lot of retail investors lose money a high percentage of them because they don't know how to play the game and they don't really they shouldn't be buying individual stocks they should be buying a, an index fund 
but because they're looking for quick profits like x this x that x 10 x 20 x whatever which don't come about that often like what you saw in 2020 2021 a lot of stocks went up super high they were basically pump and dumps right and a lot of stocks got used in that way but you don't often see that obviously like you do get time stocks do go up like generally but they're kind of like growth stocks they go up kind of gradually over time um, you can get some steep sort of rises you know on their journey of going up but you don't get like you know it's not very often within a year or 18 months you get like such so, a so, so massive spike and then it stays up or goes sideways at that level what you see with NEO being used, and it was used, a lot of stocks were used, was a lot of money went into the stock market in 2020, 2021, when people were on lockdown. A lot of money, not just in stocks and cryptos, and that's why you see a lot of these charts that are super high, the prices were super high, and a lot of it's manipulated, a lot of it's political, a lot of it's... Um, part of the game part of the bigger picture so the point is that you've got to analyze the price action and try to work out why is this neo stock falling well, at the moment it seems to be stabilized although it's kind of pushing pushing lower but why is it falling? What's the reason? There's no news from the company. There's news coming out about revenues. As I said, this month, November, I think the 20th, and then in December, towards the end of December, the Firefly is going to be unveiled. Um, and as I said, you've got to look forward to 2025 to get true sales, you know, increases. And not straight away. You've got to be looking at least, what, six months. So this selling just seems to be fear. And people, obviously, you know, the, the shorts are going to come on. But then the shorts are going to stop. They're going to load up. They're going to basically slowly, slowly, they're going to load up. So that's what I think anyway. As they stop, you know, as they reduce the short pressure, they'll be loading up on a cheaper, cheaper, cheaper stock. Even if they're going to load up as a swing trade to, to like sell it at, 50% when it goes higher they're still going to buy that's what they do but you know as I said long term Neo stock uh, I, I think that like Tesla in China I think you're going to see in my opinion not financial advice you're going to you're going to see Neo vehicles in the US don't know when maybe 2025 maybe 2026 but you're going to start to see it guys right because like I can't see there's so much business going on with China China in America you know America in China that talking about tariffs etc etc such high tariffs and that doesn't make any sense for the bigger picture for the um the globalists let's say so if you pan it out to 2025 2026 if you're prepared to wait in my opinion just speaking hypothetically in my opinion and not financial advice but 
if you pan it out, I think you can see, you would start to see a steady growth of a stock price like X3, the current price, and maybe a lot higher. And that's just my opinion, right? Because I said not financial advice, but you know, when the stock was three, three, three dollars, three fifty, whatever people sold, or they were saying this, saying that, it went seven seventy. Now it's come back down a bit, and as I said, it's a lot of panic from people that are not kind of. You know, they're not exactly pro um, traders or investors. It's just panic, panic, panic. So I think that if you're long term, if you're long term investor on Neo stock, you know the bigger picture is to allow it to take its course, really. And that could be, as I say, that could be another year towards the end of 2025 before you start to see some true value. It's just my opinion because it's a slow. Neo's got competition and they've got to do everything right to get the numbers up, increase the sales. And um, it takes time to materialize so let's just see let's just watch the stock price but don't keep watching it watching it i mean if you're long you're long right if you're long you're long term in neo uh as i say it's up to you do what you want to do if you buy more or not, I bought more and I'm holding long term, uh, looking for substantial profits, substantial profits, right? So let me know in the comments, guys. But as I say, them other channels talking about Neo, most of them, you just can't trust them. You just cannot, you cannot trust them. Especially prickly pear, and um, I forget the other one, what it's called. Something journey, whatever. As I say, there was not one bullish video about Neo stock when Neo stock was rising back in September and October. Not one, not one bullish Neo stock. And yet, when Neo stock was falling, like you know now in november <clears throat> oh yeah he comes out with his videos bashing it so there you go guys you know you've got to read between the lines about these people